In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use the gradient tool and the gradient annotator to fine tune a gradient. I've already got a stopwatch graphic that I've started working on, and I've got a blue sky gradient set up in my swatches panel. I'll start by selecting the object I want to fill with the gradient. I'm using the selection tool. Then I'll click on the gradient in the swatches panel. In this example, I'm going to use the Properties panel, new in CC 2018. I'll click on the Fill box to show the Swatches panel. And here it is, the Sky Gradient. I'll click on that, and I've now got the Sky Gradient running from left to right through the selected object. Next, I'll click on the Gradient tool to select it. As you saw in my previous tutorial on using the gradient tool, as soon as you click on the gradient tool, the gradient annotator or slider appears on the object. What you saw me doing in my previous gradient tutorial was dragging across the object using the gradient tool to create a new gradient, the drag effectively defining the angle and the length or distance of the gradient. But what if you don't want to create a completely new gradient? You just want to tweak the gradient you just created. You can do just that using the small circle and diamond markers at either end of the gradient slider. The circle marker indicates the origin or start of the gradient. I can drag that further in or further out to specify exactly where I want the gradient to start. Notice this doesn't change the length of the gradient. As I move the origin marker, the end marker also moves. If I want to change the length of the gradient, I can drag the end marker. The other thing I can do with the end marker is to position my cursor just slightly away from the marker and notice the interface detail. I get the rotate cursor. Now I can drag in a circular direction to change the angle of the gradient. It's when you come to fine tuning a gradient that the gradient slider controls become very useful. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can use the gradient slider to create a multicolour gold gradient. Please strike the like and come back for more of my tutorials for a structured step-by-step -step approach to learning Illustrator.